amazing styles we have here. I will show you closely how great they look because they are printed on pearlized paper and that looks really nice. I move them a little bit so you can see it. That's really nice and what we also have is some gold and silver uh, foil. So all the designs have a little detail of gold and silver. The next important thing is you don't have to cut them with scissors. You can just like pull them out very easily and it's a circle so they are always very uh, uh, strong and good around the edges so that's very nice. What can we make with these wonderful pictures? I would love to show you something really nice and uh, a, a nice card and the fun thing about this card is you don't have to cut anything out but you can fo uh, foil it, um, foil them inside. I will show you how you make them. What we need first of all is a mold that uh, shows you where you have to put the lines. You can see you have to cut all the lines with a knife. This is the paper we will use. It's very nice paper. It's um, embossed with a nice flower. And the fun part is you can use two cards. You can make two cards out of one sheet. So that's the thing what we need. We, we, you cut the, um, the mold. I already did that to save some time. You see how you can uh, cut the lines in it. What you need now is a score tablet to, to make some, um, here it is, to make some foil edges. Uh, Very nicely and now we have to make sure that we uh, uh, can foil them um, inside. I already made an example how we should do it. The easy part is here to fold the ones, the little ones inside, but the, the difficult part is the ones who are oblique. So I will show you how you do it. I use that to create the line because you cannot see it if you now you know how to position your sheet your card under it and you see the lines and you see this and now you go to make for this one and now for the other side fold it very easily do you see what I mean it's easy I already did it with the other side too to save some time what we want to do now is we have some very nice um, other material it's the same flower it's the same flower it's also a big um, sheet but you have to cut out smaller pieces perfectly for for the card so we will glue them on top of it now you have as you can see the same uh, flowers the top layers also embossed but with color you put some glue on it And also on the other side. Make sure you make sure you use glue that it's strong enough that they will not fall off. Take the top layer off.
perfect. Now we have um, some gold, gold um, oops, some gold details to make the card perfectly matching with the gold into um, into the design. another one for the other gonna use the nice flower that we cut out what the fun part is is that we use for that uh, not normal um, glue but uh, the 3d uh, tape so that it's it's a, we have a little 3d effect Again, I have a very nice uh, quote. I already cut it out so we can glue it on top of it. Also with the 3D foam. So it's a perfect card with the quote, friends are just like stars. You don't always see them, but they are always there. And we put it in the same line as the fold we have here. Look how fast and how good you can make an amazing card with, um, with the nice details we have here. We go fast, we go beautiful. Now it's your turn. Good luck. This is the end of demo two. I love that, and I love that. The enthusiasm from Lean at the end there as well. And as Lean said there, I mean, the quality of the items is the key thing, isn't it? It makes it quick and easy. So when you are doing your fabulous cards, you can concentrate on perhaps getting your skills with those fancy folds, adding little elements in there. But again, it's not, you're not messy crafting with these. I know a lot of people, you don't have the room to actually craft. You don't want to get everything out. With these, you don't need an awful lot. So these are absolutely beautiful pieces. And of course, we saw from Lean there that when you've got your card, which of course are card bases, you could be getting hold of using that one of the other sets that we've got. Team them up with the die cut elements and that's it. You're pretty much good to go. Just need to add in your scissors, add in your tape and away you go. But of course, with these, you have got obviously your pearlescent discs that you're just going to pop out and use as you like over and over again. You're getting 30 sheets in total. They're 160 GSM, so a really good weight. And you're going to get six different designs. And the beauty is five repeats of each of them. You are going to get loads. You've actually got six toppers on each one of those. So you're looking at that, what, that nine, 90 odd? Uh, well, more than that, actually, aren't you? Because you've got three on that. Oh, I can't do the maths. You've got a lot. So it's, you've got six on each sheet. And you've got 30 sheets. So we've got 180. 180. 180. Or 180, if you want to put it another way. Um, 775096. 21 pounds and if you wanted to take advantage of them. I didn't think 90 sounded right, but I was trying. There you go. Very trying. Lots of the time. Um, next one we've got for you is the fabulous boxes. Now, of course, you can create boxes. You don't have to create boxes with these, but what you are going to get is the fabulous cardstock in here. Let me show you this. You looked at those gorgeous elements a few moments ago. You are going to get the most beautiful papers in here as well as card bases. These are actually embossed, so you've got little raised touches with regards to these. So, again, high, um, hit those high areas with your inks if you wanted to, to add a little bit of colour into them if you wanted to. But then, of course, you have got your cardstock, your card bases 
that we saw Lean working through a few moments ago. So perfect bases. I mean, the quality that you've got from these is phenomenal, which of course you can cut into, create apertures, and you're not going to have a detrimental effect on the card base because of the quality of the card stock. Perfect for your boxes. Talking of which, you have got the layouts for you to create four different styles of boxes, and you are going to get your instructions, as you can see um, there, for each one of those, and the templates as well. So nice and easy for you to get hold of those. £18.99 being the price, 753368. Um, pop them into your basket, why don't you? Now, if you fancy lighting up your cards, well, you can do so with this set that we're looking at here because you've got lanterns featuring in here. Now, the little lanterns, they form the front of your card, and then what you do is you add a little pocket, as you can see there, which is where your lights would fit alongside the little battery. Um, all the little boxes are included, so you just need to cut those out and stick them to the back of your card. But what a fabulous way of uh, illuminating your cards. You've got a whole array of different sheets for different styles with these, and you've got your full instructions, as I mentioned there, so you don't have to worry about putting these together. But of course, if you do want to go back and watch the shows, you can do it. We've got some more um, demonstrations coming up as well. So uh, yeah, if you're wanting to create these, Beautiful cards, they're in details there on your screen. £13.99, 174232 if you want to pop those into your car, um, baskets. Now, box cards. Now, these are little boxes that you've got. You've actually got four boxes. And within each of these, you've got eight cards. So you've got four repeats of each of the two different designs. And the box will actually show you the design that you've got on there. So you've got those styles as well as those styles, as you can see. You've also got your little um, birds featuring. And then again, some more florals. Fabulous little putty cats. And in addition to that one, you've got your gorgeous flowers. And then on this one, the majestic stag alongside beautiful countryside scene. And the beauty is you are going to get your card bases. So your card bases are foiled. So you can see your little square cards, but you've got the aperture there that you can then take those designs and all of the elements are included within here. So you are going to be able to make repeats of these. So different, loads of different florals, loads of different styles. And again, at $27.99, a very affordable way for you to create lots and lots of cards. So at 933231 if you want them. Now, if you want to enhance your designs, then you can't go far wrong with those butterflies. Of course, we did see them feature um, a little bit earlier on what was it with the boxes the box set with these it's dedicated to the butterflies so you've got your fabulous sheets here which again you're going to uh, pop out your elements from they're all die cut so very easy you can pop those out pearlescent finishes as you can see there you've also got your vellum and in addition you've got more of those butterflies there a whole array of them you've got uh, 25 sheets with those five sheets of each of the five different designs so lots of scope with these die cut them well they're already die cut just pop them out Pop out the vellum elements as well, and then you can multi-layer them if you want to, or of course you can use them independently. £24.99, 253230 if you are wanting those. And then the final element that we've got for you, a set of four books, and these are brilliant, because you've got your toppers in the two books at the bottom here, but then you've also got some decoupage books as well. So your topper books, you've got the fabulous pearlescent finish within these, and you've got a whole array of different toppers, as you can see right the way through there, gorgeous scenes that you can cut out simply with your scissors or potentially if you've got a die cutting machine you can do that with these and what you can do is you can take the circles and actually put them on top of the squares if you're wanting to because they do marry up beautifully or you could actually just use them independently and maximize the use of that book um, then you've got your decoupage now your decoupage you've got multi layers within here so all you're going to do is cut out your card at the base there so you've got your card base, and then you, um, you so your card base is this one on this occasion. Then you're going to cut out your aperture as you've got there, and then you've got your decoupage that's going to go on the front. So when you're putting them together, you are making some beautiful cards time and time again, as you can see with these nice little A6 cards. So really nice size for you to make, and of course pop in the post as well, because you've got lots of depth and dimension with those. Beautiful. $16.99, if you fancy popping those ones into your basket, then 131924 is that all important item number. Head back to see what Lean is up to, because we've got another demonstration for you. I'm just going to be using one of those little card boxes that we saw a few moments ago. So let's see what Lean's up to next. Now I'm going to show you... A very nice exclusive box with eight cards and I will show you how you make the most easy and fast cards in a whip. I will show you what we have. We have um, in this box there are um, birds and flower cards. We have uh, there's eight cards so we have four um, cards uh, in blue 
and we have four cards in white. What is a very nice detail about these cards is that they have goil, uh, gold foil. You, I, you, I move them a little bit so you can see it. It's very nice, very exclusive and both have the gold flowers details. So that is the, the card on top. Then we have eight different very nice uh, designs. We have this, this box is a mix of um, birds and flowers. So we have four flowers, four birds. What is the nice thing about these is that the paper, yes, you can see it, I hope, on the, is very nice pearlized paper. It has a very nice, uh, very nice glow. And then we also have eight layers uh, to put inside the cards and this is very nice embossed shiny paper it is really nice I will show you very quick and very easy what you can do you take a card and you take the inlay you glue the inlay um, on the inside of the card not on the outside, I prefer to glue it on the inside here because then it's, it's like this and you can write some text on the inside. So you can glue, you glue it with, with this tape. I first like to glue the inlay first before you cut down out the um, the birds and then you can perfectly position it correct if you do it the other way around then maybe there is there is a mistake that you made a mistake and you can see the edge and that would be a would be a pity we cut around the edge That's why what I said now if you put it behind it you can position it perfectly and you know now the position on the card. We will glue it, glue some double sided tape or you can just take the glue you like. No problem which one you choose, what is easiest for you to work with. In a few seconds you have an amazing card. We also have some nice text. Here it's in Dutch, but there will be an extra, um, an extra layer with all kinds of um, wish luck, luck. Yeah, how you say that you wish someone luck or that it's a nice quote, congratulations or happy birthday. They will be added in English perfectly for the card. There's still a white edge. I'm really on the nice details. And I would love to use that with the 3D foam. And that's the fun part is you can you can add it whatever you want to on top of the card of the bottom. And if you put it a little bit here over the edge. It has a very nice 3D effect. So this is our card, very easy, very fast, nice with the glow, nice with the gold details and easy to make. I would say good luck to everyone. This is the end of take two. That's very fine, huh? giving us lots of information. We've kind of done the demonstrations in a little bit of a random order there. So uh, yeah, but thank you, Lee. Very precise with the, um, obviously, uh, labeling of all those videos. So thank you, appreciate that. Now, one of the most popular items in the hour, again, has been these fabulous light-up cards, and they're brilliant. 
concept I think is phenomenal and the way that they come together is a very clever design now you've got your A4 sheet brilliant print with regards to the the cardstock as well so a lovely weight which means that you've got everything that you need when you're creating your card so you've got the stability because of course what will happen is you'll create your card base which you've got obviously you can see at the top of the card but then you've got your additional elements so what you're going to be doing is adding these details in so you'll be folding that element over but then over the top of that you're bringing in the lower element Elements, including some of the die cut elements, that is, um, not die cut, should I say, the um, cut elements that you need to cut out with your craft knife there to create those beautiful little um, kind of apertures that you can see. Now, the beauty is you've got a little box that um, comes to you, you get a whole sheet of these, so, well, several sheets of them because you've got all these fabulous cards. Um, you're cutting out the little boxes, so you can see four on each one of those, and it um, just glues onto the back of your card. It's like a little pocket which you then pop your battery in. And then in addition to that, you're popping your little light in there as well. And when, if you're wondering how it all comes together, then don't worry because we've got a demonstration coming up again with Liam in just a few moments. $13.99, that will get you your card kit. So you're going to have eight of those with your light ups um, elements and also your batteries included as well. So really good value for uh, money. Just need to mention extended delivery because of course, World of Crafts are based in the Netherlands. So we've just got a little bit of extended delivery the 22nd of May, but that'll be here before we know it. Details on your screen if you fancy taking advantage, pop them into your basket and here's Lean to explain how they all come together. I would love to show you how you make this amazing card. It's a nice card with flowers, with a nice lantern, with a 3D effect, but there's something very special about this card. It has behind the lantern a very nice LED light. It has a little box with the light and that's very unique. I would love to show you how you make it. You have um, one piece of paper with three different um, layers of the cards. Yeah, to save some time, I already uh, cut them out so that I can show you how we make this card. This is now that I already cut it. This is all the things we have. Um, this is the card, this is the layer that um, we glue uh, behind the top layer and these are the flowers you have to cut out with the scissors um, to, uh, uh, to make the 3D, the 3D effect. I will show you how it's done. We start with the, with the card, we want to make a fold seam here so we can, we can fold it into the card we already have. Um, this is the middle of the part. We use a scoreboard to make a perfect, nice fold. What we want to do now is we have to cut out the, um, the windows of the lantern. I already did uh, a four to save some time, but I'm going to show you how you can cut out the other uh, um, windows. I use um, the, uh, you can do it with the scissors but you can also do it with a knife and uh, see what it's most easy for you. So it's important that you only uh, cut out the, the, the beige layers so not the black the black uh, lines because otherwise you you um, could cut out the hole um, inside of the lantern and that would be a shame it's a little bit precise work but i know everyone loves to make these cards is very precise and can make it without a doubt and the other side Here a little bit round, so I didn't. Oops. Just 
just like this you have all the windows from the lantern cut out. So that's where the light, we would put the light behind the lantern. So now the lantern is uh, finished. What we also want to do is, you can do it on two ways, or you can keep it as a uh, square card as it is here, or you can also cut the edge so you have a more um, 3D effect. I'm gonna show you this. Put around the flowers. Like this. So you can do it both ways, what you prefer. Now we take the other layer uh, to put it behind. What I love to do is make also with the scoreboard a little um, a little seam so that you have so you can fold it and you can create a DVD effect you glue it with a double double sided tape you put this, the tape on the front side of the card you can fold it a little bit and you have on the inside a fold and you have the 3d effect what we are gonna do now is the flowers for the flowers oh yeah we also have indeed we have the window here that we also have to cut because you can see it here we also have to cut out this window that I will do with the knife and the scissors both Now we have um, the windows open for the light. We're gonna glue on the flowers. For the flowers, I use the GDT. Like we have three flowers. One flower here is for on top of the, the top flower, and the other two are for the bottom flowers. We have two flowers. One is with the green that is the bottom one and then the top one is without the green leaves now the card is finished but we also need to make the box because we have a very nice box on the inside of the cart where we put the battery in. We have a clear explanation and we have four boxes. I already cut the box to make it easy. We have to fold on each, on each line, have to fold the box. And you have to cut in this. You can see it very clearly. 
um, just all of those two lines here the bottom line and this line so that we can fold it like this I love to use the tape but you can use lime or whatever you uh, prefer to go fast yes. I would love to use the tape because it's then it's very um, Then um, you know the battery um, will hold it will hold the in the little box. Not that the battery falls uh, falls down. That would be a shame. So make sure you use good glue. And now I put glue on the back part, so we can glue it on on the inside of the box uh, of the of the card, of course. So we have here. We put it on the first layer and you have here the lantern and you glow it just below the lantern like this and now I will show you the battery these are the batteries you uh, you get you get batteries and you get LED lights batteries has a plus on it make sure you have the correct side on the plus now the battery is burning if you put it the other way around it's not so make sure you put it all right with the plus side to the plus uh, side of the battery otherwise you will think that it's not working and now the easiest part is you have your little box and you put the battery with the light inside the box and you have a light behind the lantern. Good luck with it. This is the end of demo one. There you go. Except it wasn't demo one because you played them all in a different order. But I've told you that already, haven't I? Now, of course, that fabulous card was created using the kit that we've got here. And it's been a popular one during this hour, as it was at two o'clock this afternoon as well. Um, eight cards you're going to be able to create for £13.99. You've got everything that you need. The fabulous base card, as you saw um, Lean working with. Then, of course, the additional layers that all come together to create those fabulous little cards that we saw. And, of course, the beauty of these is that fabulous, ingenious little pocket that sits inside such a clever idea um, just inside the back there and then you've got your battery and of course your little lights fit in there as well which means that you've got the illumination coming right the way through that fabulous little lantern there 174 232 if you're wanting to get hold of yours don't worry you're going to get full instructions and of course you are going to get the little boxes that you put on the back because you'll get a couple of those cards with all eight of those 174 232 just 13 pounds and 99 pence incredible value for money again it's proven to be very popular as the hour progresses not got long left within this hour to be fair um, um, so take advantage where you have got the opportunity. Next one we've got, we did see um, it being used a little bit earlier on, and it's um, one of the fabulous box cards. Now within here, you have got four boxes of eight cards. You are getting a lot of cards. Love the little puppies that you've got in the front there. How cute is that? Isn't that sweet? I always like saying, just pick me up, pick me up and give me a cuddle. Um, now you've got beautiful cards like that. You've got uh, gorgeous scenes of the countryside featuring in these, some beautiful florals. You've got woodland effects with these beautiful cards through and through. What happens is you're going to get eight cards within the boxes here. And within those kits, you have got everything that you need to create your fabulous cards. So you've got your base card, you've got your aperture element, you've got your um, fabulous artwork that's going to feature within these. <coughs> so as you can create 
create some amazing cards time and time again. Now, one thing that strikes me with World of Craft is that they know how to make their crafting products. They know how to bring the quality, and that is the key thing. You're getting 32 different cards that you are going to be able to create with these. And the beauty is you've got different bases. So, of course, you can cross over the um, elements in the middle with the other um, styles if you wanted to. Of course, fabulous little cats that you saw on the cover of one of the boxes there. And there, talk about puppy dog eyes. He does look like he's done something now, doesn't he? Um, again, that little cat there, it's like, no, nope, I am not moving. I got here first. And then, of course, you've got florals, which we all love, don't we, when we're crafting. So, again, a really array. I've just grabbed a few of those. I mean, we've got loads here. 32 cards. To imagine that you can create 32 cards for £27.99. That is amazing value for money really is. Um, it's less than a pound a card, isn't it? So, yeah, 87 pence per card. It's not often you can say that, is it? Um, so, 933231 if you're wanting to get hold of those. Of course, there's lots of other things to consider. Very quickly going to tell you about those little butterfly elements that we touched on earlier on. This is a nice set because you've got those die-cut butterflies, but you've got them in a variety of different guises. So, you've got your die-cut elements, as you can see here. These are simply going to pop out as and when you need them. You've also got your vellum elements, which are beautiful absolutely gorgeous of course you can add some additional detail to those and then of course you have got more of those fabulous butterflies working their way through 24 pounds and 99 pence you're getting 25 sheets works out as a pound uh, per item so two five three two three zero a couple of things that i've not mentioned to you which would be very useful to go with these goodies the super smooth cardstock that you got from your seven day save it's 150 sheets you've got three different weights of your super smooth there you've got your 200 your 250 and your 300 six five one nine two five and of course the fabulous little velcro of foam elements um, that you've got um, these are brilliant um, oh no it's not the one i was thinking of it's the, these are nice I do apologize these are the foam elements which of course yes now i know why we've got these you've got your decoupage you need your foam don't you there you go it's all in the thinking it's just i don't think um 10 pounds and 49 pence nine three one five six seven both of those last two items are your seven day savers so they are going to go up in price on sunday morning so if you do want to take advantage of any of those check them out because of course sunday morning will be here before we know it and we'll be launching a brand new set of seven day savers if you've got anything in two baskets now's the time to check your baskets out and i'll see you the other side of this So Fabric Freedom Stash coming up straight after. It's the brand new one day special, the second airing. Then we're going to be introducing a doodle craft designs as a nighttime hour and then repeats of the one day special. But before all that, I need to have a little chat with you. I know many of our viewers out there are watching from overseas, from America particularly, and we've had to take a little bit of a break from shipping orders over to you over in America. But glad to say that we are back on schedule with that now. Of course, we couldn't show them ship to you because we had problems with the, obviously, COVID-19 and the flights coming out to you with your orders. But of course, we are going to be able to start doing that again for you. In fact, we're doing it now. Now, if you are shipping items to you out there, you need to bear in mind that our post and packing has slightly had to increase so we're now looking at $12.99 for each item that we're sending out here which when you look at all the goodies we bring to you here at Chanda can work out as being rather costly which is why we recommend you consider becoming a Freedom member. It's just $19.99 but you can order as much as you like as often as you like even every single day and we can get those orders out here in America so you can take advantage of all the fabulous things that we bring to you here at Chanda and those amazing deals. Talking of which we've got the one day special coming up after this. Hi, I'm John Lockwood from John Next Door. I'm lucky enough to have been a guest on Hachanda since day one. I've been working closely with Crafts 2 on the development of the John Next Door brand and also working with their fantastic range of products. I'll be bringing you some fantastic shows that are combining the John Next Door and Crafts 2 products. We'll be sharing things like the press cut dies and some of the Find It Media and some of the other fantastic tools, accessories and other products that Crafts 2 bring to everybody at home. I hope you can join me on my crafting journey and learn some tips and techniques from me that I share with you. So don't miss the Crafts 2 shows with me, John Lockwood, on Hachanda.
did you know you can watch Hochanda 24 hours a day, seven days a week, using the Hochanda app on your Amazon Fire Stick for free? Just like your smartphone accesses an app store to add new applications, your Amazon Fire Stick accesses the Amazon App Store to add new applications. By downloading the Hochanda app, you'll be able to access your favorite craft channel on your TV anytime you want to watch. Here's how to do it. Simply turn on your TV and connect your Amazon Fire Stick. If this is your first time using the device, follow the on-screen instructions to connect to the internet and log into your Amazon account. Once set up, you'll need to open the search bar. To do so, simply use your remote circular directional dial to scroll to the search icon and select it. Now simply type Hochanda into the search bar and this will take you to the Hochanda app. All you need to do now is select download and remember it's free. Once this is added to your Fire Stick, you can move the app for easy access. Press and hold your home button on any app and then select apps from the menu that appears. Scroll down to the Hochanda app and press the button with the three horizontal lines on your remote and select Move to Front. And that's it. You can now watch, purchase and catch up with your favourite shows 24 hours a day, 7 days a week on your TV whenever you feel crafty. Hi, I'm Julie. And I'm Paula. And together we are Julie Hickey Designs. We formed our partnership after many years of friendship, after both of us being in the craft industry for well over 20 years. We have a great partnership. I do all the day-to-day -day business side and Julie does all the designing. Our range of stamps and dies are made to the highest quality. Our stamps are the deepest etch that are available and they are made in the UK and they give you beautiful, clean, crisp impressions every time and our dies cut like a dream. The thing I love to do most is to share my ideas, hints and tips with you, the Hachanda viewers, so I can inspire you to pick up a stamp and get creating. So be sure to tune in for the Judy Hickey Design Shows on Hachanda. Hello there and welcome back. Well, it's eight o'clock, so it's another opportunity for us to have a look at our one day special cause. Myself and the lovely Hayley Smith launched a one day special at six o'clock. And there are uh, you there, Hayley. What are you up oh, to? Oh, Hayley's here. And she's there. She's busy <laughs> whirring away with that sewing machine. We'll be yeah. up with Hayley in a well, few minutes. I stole a few bits off one of the happy hours. So, because oh. I really liked it. So, I thought I'd steal a few bits and quickly just sew them together. So, you'll, you, I'll get, pass them over via Backstage Ben in a minute. So when I actually, actually <laughs> hold up the fabrics, there's going to be big holes. We'll tell you what, if you hang on to them, um, you keep them, we'll come back and have a look at them in a few minutes. Okay. So, what can I tell you? Well, I can tell you've got an amazing deal for a one-day special. In fact, we've got two of them because we've got options with regards to our one-day special. Now, we have got a fabulous bundle. Now, earlier on, if you're watching at 6 o'clock, we were a little bit unsure with regards to the actual bundle, but we have had it confirmed that you will get the exact fabrics that we are looking at here with your one-day specials. So, you've got two options. You've got your pastels, which is the first one that we're going to look at, and you've got your darks, which we'll look at in a few moments. Within each of these, you are going to get 20 half meter pieces which when you work it out you means you're getting 10 meters of fabric for 79 pounds and 90 pence that equates to 7.99 per meter this is amazing value for money now of course these are each half meter pieces so don't think fat quarters with these we are talking edge to edge coverage with regard to these 45 inches wide so really good size of course it's a regular quilting cotton size so of course if you are thinking of quilting maybe your first ever quilt then you can't go far wrong with this bundle and you've got some fabulous funky fabrics in there for a little bit of fun as well so that particular set is your lights you've got many repeats of the designs in there as well on different colorways so of course they're going to work well together just to let you know a quarter of the stock has gone of your light option it's been a very popular bundle as has the darks now of course you can go for both if you wanted to but just to reiterate the darks different colors but again the same colors that we're sharing with you in the same print so you've got your darker tones so you've got browns in here you've got some darker blues and turquoises teals featuring within here gorgeous hot fiery red the black and the pink are all exactly the same print as you're getting within that red so of course these are ones that you could be using again to create your quilt 
lots of scope and you'll also notice that lots of these designs actually cross over uh, across the two bundles so if you are going for both of these then you could quite easily cross pollinate those colors quite quite effectively i think now a beautiful array of fabrics i'm sure you agree again you're looking at half meter pieces with each of these so again a brilliant value two flexi binder just 39 pounds and 95 pence will get you either of your two one day specials on their way to 427040 Hayley was doing some demonstrations with this at six o'clock we will see her a little bit later on using one of the happy hour deals which incidentally if you want to jump ahead and have a little look they are on the website i will show you them in a few moments though so don't worry about that next bundle that we've got for you this is a fabulous bumper stash now with this one you're talking black and white black and white stash builder with these and it's lovely because you have got obviously your black and white prints working right the way through these again really good sizes with these we're looking at 152 centimeters wide so wider than the fabrics that we've touched on you're going to get half meter of each of the prints but then a full meter of your white and then of course you've got that fabulous dog tooth there lovely contrast where you've got black and white together i must admit and of course if you are going for the darks of a one day special you have got a black fabric in there that would work alongside those as well wouldn't you so it might be worth adding that one in alongside so if you are wanting your stash builder then this one is where you are going to be getting three and a half meters of fabric two and a half um sorry two meters no try again Two and a half metres of your print and one metre of your plane. I had to think of, it, think of your maths for a minute then. £27.99, brilliant value for money. Really good price, that one again. 765825. Now, the batiks proved to be very popular during the last hour, and we learned a lot about batiks from not just the, the kind of the process of bringing those fabulous um, prints to you, but also the value for money that you've got with these. 9.99, you're saving £3 on each one of these. You're going to get a full metre. Um, I'm going to pull out a different one this time because I kept pulling out the, the magenta last time. I'm going to go for the blue and the grey because I kind of like this one. Now, Batik's a very clever way of them coming together. Of course, they are handmade. They're hand-dyed and hand-printed. And that's the beauty of these. And, of course, the nature of Batik's means that the dye it runs right the way through the fabric. So it's not just sitting on the surface. It's absolutely actually absorbed into the fabric, which means on both sides you will have a fabulous print. Now, you can work it whichever side that you want it to. So on this occasion, one has got more of a purple tone i'm sure you agree to the blue that you've got there there's no right and wrong really with these it's just your preference as to which side you're wanting to work with good size pieces with these as well full meter and absolutely beautiful i'm thinking about cotton shorts little shorts for the summer absolutely beautiful little vesty tops maybe with these maybe using them you can use them for your things like your bags and, uh, and such like um, and these are beautiful now the one that i've just shown you there was your um gray and blue but let me take you through the others. I'm going to pop the um, grey and blue on the top just for a few moments. Next one that we've got, that gorgeous pink. That one is your magenta. Very pretty. You can see lots of different rainbow colours working their way through that one. Next one that we've got for you, this one was... Oh, is this the purple? I think, is it just purple? I think we called that, yeah? It's just purple, but it's not just purple, is it? It's way more than just purple. There's loads there. This one is your grey and your pink like a hot pink running through there next one that you've got is your orange and green and then the last one is your purple and green as you can see there again whichever of those you go for you buy in quality at 9.99 and batiks are just beautiful fabrics absolutely perfect for the summer um, and a really nice fabric to work with if you want to go for multiples that's on the same item number so there's no additional post and packing with regards to those i'll fix that one in a few moments because i've got more fabrics to tell you about now this time we're looking at cotton canvas so it's a weightier fabric beautiful fabrics none to, uh, to uh, mention as well with these because they've got a really good way now oh actually i was just opening up this one this one is the most popular so far now wait till you see the size of these pieces because we haven't actually got the width up on the screen for these so it's actually 60 inches which is the widest you would normally get on a bolt of fabric so there you go i feel like i should be going Wee! with this shouldn't i um i love this now have you got any ideas of which airport it is don't know if i can recognize it it's a big airport though isn't it but this is brilliant brilliant you've got obviously your print where you've got obviously is it a landing strip i'm not very good with me airport. but this is like where you, all the little bits where you go trundling around you go trundle trundle, trundle and all of a sudden you go and off you go i love that bit when you come around and then they kind of i imagine them putting their foot down but they don't actually put their foot down when you're in the plane do they they kind of pull up 
Well, the only whoever that air traffic controller is have got a job on their hands well, there. yes, yeah. It's a bit of a complicated layout, that one, isn't it? Um, it's a big, big old airport. Now, that is just one of the fabrics. It's proved to be one of the most popular. Um, now, I'll, again, I'll neaten that one up and pop it back in place in a second. But I love the foxes as well. This is a cute one. Gorgeous. Absolutely fabulous with the good, um, foxes there. You've got an Aztec print with the next one. You've got a jungle print which I think is lovely. Then the trees, I must admit, I do like this. I think this would make some fabulous cushions. That's a nice one, isn't it? And all these fabrics that you've got that you could actually match in if you wanted to quite easily. Then you've got uh, more of a jungle print again with the larger leaves, as you can see. In fact, they are banana leaves. They might go with your banana fabric within your one day special. And then the last one, I still do like the green ducks. They are very, very cute, aren't they? Now, of course, the beauty of these, being a heavier weight fabric, they're the fab um, canvas fabric, perfect for upholstery. So if you've got something like um, kitchen chairs that maybe need some new seat pads, then these are going to look beautiful. Fabulous um, for outside furniture as well. I mean, some of these are really happy fabrics, really nice ones for the weather. Um, and again, you could make, make blinds with these. You could use them for can canvas bags, bean bags, all sorts of different home decor pieces. So, uh, yeah. Definitely a consideration to go for. $13.99, I think you'll agree, a really good price with regards to those. Um, now, we've got, talking about home decor, we've got some fabulous fabrics to share with you in the next bundle. Next bundle's pick and mix them. So with these, you've got panels. And they're kind of cushion size panels, but they don't have to be cushioned. They could be a panel to go in a bag, nice little shopper bag, maybe if you're going off to market. Now, the robin was in the lead during the last hour. Oh, we've gone into pheasant mode now. So, the pheasant is... Where's the pheasant? That's the pheasant there. There you go. So, the pheasant has come into play now. So, lots of you um, adding the pheasant into your basket. If you go for the pheasant, I hope you're teaming him up with the, um, the stag because they're kind of both kind of country kitchen style, aren't they, those? So that is the stag. But saying that though, you see the Highland cattle or the Highland cow, is he classed as a Highland cow because he's got horns? I don't know, do cows have horns or is it just the bulls? I don't know. Really? Oh, I don't I know. I think it's just good. the tennis, the, is I it mean, not just that tennis shaggy ginger look it, I don't qualifies know. as a Highland cow? Perhaps it's the, as Hayley said, the shaggy kind of ginger look that you've got from them that is the Highland bit. I don't know. But these are definitely cows. You've got two cows on that particular panel, so they work well. Um, you've also got your rooster or your cockerel and your hen featuring on this particular one. Again, they're all perfect for a country kitchen look, really, aren't they? Um, and again, another one that would be perfect for your country kitchen is the last one that we've got here, which is the little sheep. They all look like they're on the starting line, these sheep. Kind of cute, like that one. So you are going to be able to choose any two of these panels. Two panels for $14.99, a very affordable price with these, good size pieces. As Hayley said, if you are looking for a fabric to work alongside these, um, Fabric Freedom did a linen style fabric, which is very similar to the base fabric that you've got within these. So if you did want to get some additional fabric, maybe to create the backs of your cushions, um, and similarly, um, you could do. You could do quite easily jump onto the website you'll be able to find it 14.99 301296 now i promised you happy hour deals and we have those next now i know hayley has snuffled a little bit of this fabric so i'm sure we'll see something coming to light in a few moments but you've got your three pieces with regards to your first happy hour deal and these are brilliant look at the price on your screen 13 pounds fabulous now, you may recognise the polka dots from earlier on because we had something similar as a happy hour. On this occasion, you've got your pink, you've got your blue, but I love this one here. It's almost like um, a patchwork flower that you've got in there. But you've got the two colours that we're looking at with the um, happy hour deal. Clever idea. Now, you get in a metre of each one of these, £13 being your saving on this one, 226524. Next one that you've got as your happy hour deal. Oh, this is so cute. This is gorgeous. Now, happy hour deal, incidentally, I better mention to you as well with the um, happy hours, it's only for this hour and this hour only. So at nine o'clock, that price will go back up again. Uh, very quickly, the next one that we've got is your dinosaurs here. It's a brushed cotton. Um, so fabulous if you're wanting to create an um, adult nightwear. Um, we do say not for children's nightwear. Do you, 
I think it's kind of the body regulation with regard to heat. Um, I've got things. Do these glow? This glow in the dark? Uh, I don't know. Uh, it looks like the, it the reason glow they in the say dark. not for children's sleepwear is uh, is all to do with fire retardancy. Even though it is treated, everybody's just kind of being on the safe oh, side. Right. Uh, there, there you go. But okay, for, for like grown ups like me, I wouldn't mind a pair of pajamas in these. Um, at ten pounds being the price, you're getting two meters in there, forty-four inches wide, so really good size there. So nine three seven one nine nine. So, as I mentioned, the lovely Hayley Smith is here. She's been busy beaving away. I've been hearing the sewing machine whirring away. So, what have you been up to, Hayley? So, I took uh, the Happy Hour fabrics, and when I saw them go out, I thought, oh, they're really nice, and they would work so nicely together. So, I just very quickly sewed a few together into like a nine patch square there, just nice. so you can have a little look at how nicely they work together because it's exactly the same. Uh, kind of turquoisey blue and pink that's in those spots so it's a really really nice one I'll put it on the on the, the table there so you can get it uh, from from a weird weird overhead I should have moved some stuff shouldn't I really uh, <laughs> but this you can then that's just a really basic nine patch but you with a, a basic nine patch there's lots of things you can do in terms of cutting it down rearranging the blocks and creating other blocks so it's a great place to start and um, now with the other fabrics for the one day special what we have been doing is we've been having a bit of a play around we made some uh, coasters initially turned those into 3d leaves which were kind of building further and further up and by the end of this I'm entirely sure I'll have a full triffid by the end of this um, so we've been having a bit of a bit of fun and games with those but um, one of the things that Hayley mentioned was other Hayley uh, was that they'd be great for kind of art quilting and building up pictures so that's what we are going to do next so I have just a bit of the super stiff batting now this is a, a really nice one to use for some kind of really heavy stitch work because it just takes it so well it kind of stabilizes the stitches as well as kind of providing a nice solid backing to to work with so things tend to slip about less so this is from the lights bundle and uh, as we said you're getting exactly the same fabrics that Haley's able to show you on the counter there uh, so what I'm going to do to start us off is to cut this piece down and then just stitch it around the edges to hold what will be the sky in place so let me just trim this down a little bit I'm not going to trim it right down just yet because once I've stitched it just in case it moves any while I'm stitching it and um, I'm going to trim the, the rest down later so I'm going to just quickly put quite a wide stitch on here because I just really want to tack the edges in place so it doesn't move while I'm putting other layers on so we're going to go around the edge really quickly and then we'll start building up some more layers. Hayley, I might need some numbers. Oh, you need some numbers? Yes. I can do numbers. I've got lots of numbers, I can tell you. Um, now, of course, Hayley's working with the um, the Happy Hour deer, not the, well, one of the Happy Hour deers, but of course it works so well with our wonderful fabric here. Now, earlier on, we were having a little bit of a joke about numbers and I automatically thought of bingo number so again in the style of bingo we have got the number on your screen so four and two Winnie the Pooh um, is the first section that you've got of your item number followed by seven zero blind 70 there's got to be a catchphrase for a 70 I don't know no, I think all the, uh, is it just a 70 I don't know because then you've got life begins Top of the shop at is 90 40, isn't it in 40 life begins at 40 so it's 40 <laughs> seven zero four <laughs> It's all gone a bit random, really, hasn't it? Random. I think there's actually a little phrase for every single number, isn't there? Well up for a bit of Hachanda bingo. He'll, he'll know all about it. Oh, does he? Yeah. Oh, I think he used to be a bingo. He's, he's trying he to. to it it, I, I don't know, but he's, he's trying to championing championing Hachanda bingo, oh, which uh, I think once it's all non locked down, it uh, will be a thing. Round, yeah, going round a bit, oh. craft, bit of bingo. I'll, pay, I'll tell you a funny tale about bingo when we finish. Okay. <laughs> and we were doing it, a lo lockdown bingo that we did at home, but it was quite a funny situation. But anyway, we're talking about the one-day special during this, and that's what Hallie, Hayley, Hallie, Hayley is using to back her cushion. She's got the same name as me. I'm going to differentiate. You know, no there's, a, there's a lady that we deal with in, in Italy, and um, obviously my name is on my email, but she still insists on calling me Harley, and this has been three years now. <laughs> Don't correct Still comes anymore. through on the email. Oh dear, Harley. <laughs> <laughs> 
That's why I think. <laughs> Sorry, we yeah, digress, don't we? Do, we do, we do, we do. <laughs> um, but yeah, one day special, and that's what um, Haley's been working with. So the backing of the cushion going in place using one of the half meters that you've got, you've actually got 20 half meters. It's a phenomenal deal because it's the equivalent of 10 meters of fabric for just 79 pounds and 90 pence. It works out at 7 pounds and 99 pence per meter which at her chanda we'd be hard pressed to bring you that kind of deal with quilting fabric um, so it's a one day special price that's exactly what we've got here now the bundle that we've got here is exactly what you will be receiving when you get your fabrics home so you can see instantly even with the first two fabrics there you've got fabrics that are going to complement each other and that's what fabric freedom have done they've put this bundle together knowing that one fabric will work alongside the next and so on so for instance you'll find that there's a run of probably about five fabrics that you could quite easy take out of this stash and actually create your own quilt your first ever quilt if you're wanting to uh, maybe make it as a project because this is the th key thing when you're making your first quilt you might be a little bit nervous about cutting into exp expensive fabric well at least if you've only paid 7.99 a meter then the pressure isn't quite as intense so that is your pastel bundle to start with here so you're saving Jump and jive 35 <laughs> with regard to your saving on this one. <laughs> have I, you have I started a new thing? Is it a, well, I don't know these numbers. Bingo I need to do numbers. A bit of, need to Instead do a bit of, of three numbers and this. three, we have so. two, two, two in a bingo <laughs> format. <laughs> okay, fair enough. I'll get Yanis on I it tomorrow. Is it Yanis tomorrow morning? Yes, yeah. I'll get him morning. right on that. Fair <laughs> enough. So, if you're watching, if you're watching now, Yanis, you need to swat up on your bingo numbers. Um, but there's another version as well. You need to look it up, which you can't actually use on air. It's drag queen bingo, and there's different words like nine and five, nine and five is ninety-five, things like that. They kind of do that. It's quite good. Very glamorous, very funny, and a little bit over eighteen as well. I've got, I've anyway, got lost the dark, there. You've got Sorry. lots of different colours. Sorry. Have you been to Bongo's Bingo? Bongo's Bingo. Oh no. Okay. Bongo that's that's bingo. something very different. What's bongo bingo? <laughs> you, um, you, I've got pictures. I'll show you later. Okay. Uh, you go to a bingo hall, and then when they kind of you play bingo and you're sitting down, all being well behaved, and then all of a sudden they'll, cut, they'll call out a certain number, and then they put a record on it, and everybody gets up on the tables and dances. All oh, right, okay. They have a couple of ambulances on standby because apparently there's regular falling off of tables. Oh dear. <laughs> That sounds like a night to be had, doesn't it? Um, right, I should look out for Bongo Bingo. Escaped. Oh, I'll have to look out for it. Oh, apparently there's one closer to home. Oh, there we go. Not that I can go at the moment, but it's no. on the list. I'll put it on That's the list. That's for later. That's up there with the crazy golf ones that we do as well. Um, so all of these, these are your darks. We digress a lot in this hour, so apologies <laughs> for that. But back on track, <laughs> you are getting 20 half metre pieces of fabric. They're beautiful fabrics, fabric freedom. So we know quality with regards to these. And I love this one at the bottom there. Have a look at that for a fabric. That is beautiful, isn't it? Gorgeous. Beautiful colours, bright tones here. But then you've got muted tones with your greys, your darker tones. Some small prints, perfect for things like your um, your uh, your kind of batting, not your batting, your, uh, oh gosh, your sashing, that's the word I'm looking for, your sashing and your binding, perfect for those to work with those. So yeah, do like those, absolutely beautiful. So you've got your darks as your one option of your one day special. Other option being your lights or your pastels there, 79 pence and 90 pence. Now we've left Hayley, busy, busy bee bring away, um, and she's been working with one of the happy hour, well two of the, no, just the one of the happy hour deals actually, hasn't she? With this one, you're getting three, um, meters of fabric and this one oh there we go <laughs> two little ducks <laughs> quack quack six and Emily, five producer is that something to do did with you retirement? put that up just for the item number so Haley had to do quack, two little quack. ducks <laughs> two little ducks quack quack six and five retirement age that doesn't rhyme it's got a rhyme that six was a bit disappointing five. that one beetle drive there you go um and <laughs> <laughs> two and four, 24. Beetle drive, is, that's an old, that's very oh, old school. Beetle drive at Sunday school, you used to love it. <laughs> um, double dozen, double dozen, double dozen. Okay, we'll go for that. We need to something. If, if you're watching and you can think of another one for 24, let me know. Studio at <laughs> Stop it. Dinosaurs, this is your other happy hour deal. Nine and three. Oh, we've gone over it. No, we can't. Because it oh, it's too 90, high. It only goes it? up to 90, doesn't it? Uh, seven and one. Bang on the drum. <laughs> and then we can't do anything for 99. 
99 can we say 937199 so uh, you are saving on this one not a baker's dozen just the 12 pounds um, <laughs> just a dozen because just a normal a dozen, dozen. But there you go. I think we better hand over to the other hand. I think I need some sugar. <laughs> so I don't need some sugar. I've had too much sugar. Well, you're not going to get any more sense out of me. So I don't know what you're planning on. <laughs> what are you up to? So I have stitched on the top bit there. I've stitched on the sky. And that's out of the um, light set. I'm going to mix the two up, actually, to get this done. Because I want to kind of use as many colours as, as possible. So now I'm going to go ahead and cut some just kind of rough hill shapes out to be able to, to put more of a, a landscape on there. So I've cut one out and I'm going to do the same with each of them. Cut them out. If you want to use a bit of spray adhesive or something, just to tack them down, you absolutely can. Um, and then just stitch them down. So I'm going to switch over to black thread because I want to add some kind of that real kind of hand stitched scribble kind of, you know, rough applique look to it. So I'm just going to quickly switch threads. Should have done this while you were doing your numbers, shouldn't I? <laughs> Oh, oh, now dear. we've had some questions come through, Hayley, with regards to the Okay, dinosaur you do that while I turn the machine. Um, and uh, I'm not sure who's emailed through, but um, it was Kim. Kim, you've asked about using the dinosaur fabric for cushions. Yes, you could do. Be some fabulous cushions as well, very cosy. Sometimes I use brushed cotton on the underside of a quilt as well, because that can be quite a nice finish as well, especially if you're making something that uh, you're wanting to snuggle underneath. So, uh, yeah, um, good, good idea, that particular one. So, yeah, if you're wanting to use it for your cushions, by all means do so. You've got two metres in there, so you're going to be able to make a lot of cushions using that fabric. So, yeah, <laughs> pop it in. How are we doing? Are we all are we all threaded up? Uh, no, because I realised my bottom bobbin was out at the same time. Uh, but never mind, it's it's okay. Do you know what? I'll leave that for a second, and I'll leave this one for a second, and we'll use that happy hour fabric. We'll cut that and convert it into uh, a disappearing nine patch. Oh, okay. Just because I've forgotten to do a thing. So, um, you would normally do this with a quilting ruler. I have not got one over this side of the studio, so it's fine. We will do it the other way. So, if you don't like using um, rotary cutters and quilting rulers, and uh, or maybe you just haven't got one with you. If you line up the seams, which I need to do top and bottom, and then ideally just press that so you've got a nice um, kind of nice crisp seam to follow with your scissors, then you'll be able to fold that back out. I see I've got a nice crease down the centre there, and then I can follow that with my scissors and split that up. Now it seems absolute lunacy to sew it all together to cut it up and then sew it all back together again. But that's quilting. <laughs> and then I'm going to do the same with these. I'm going to line up that seam that's running down here. Let me just turn that round to the side again so you can see. Um, uh, Emily, Emily's been... Um, oh, she's, she's got, got right into this, hasn't she? Yeah, throw, throw out a number between 1 and 90. Uh, 19. 19, 1 and 9. No, 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 no
You need to talk a bit more. Oh, do I? What do you want to chat about? <laughs> <laughs> what do you want to chat? Oh, another number. Uh, six. Oh, so what have we got for number six? Tom, Tom Mix. Mix. These are some really weird ones that I've never ever Victor heard of. Is this Victorian bingo we're playing? I'm just, just making these some up. Really old ones there. So, Tom. Oh, apparently he was in silent western films, so we're not talking like the 2020s, are we? With well, that's even before that's Maddie's new then, version that. <laughs> new version. Um, that is who that, was Prime was Minister then? Because then that we can find out who's, who's then it was. Well, it's 1880. <laughs> that, apparently that's when he was born, that particular Tom Thumb or whatever oh. his name was. Anyway, um, <laughs> boutique fabrics, that's what we've come back to because it's one of the most popular items on the show. You can see you have got a fabulous choice here. Each one of these, you can choose between the colours. So you've got a metre of whichever you choose to go for. Might be that you're going for your greys. Your greys with blue is this one that we've got at the top here. And then, of course, you've got magenta. You've got your purple. You've also got your grey and pink or pink and grey. And you've also got your orange and green. And finally, your purple and green. You are going to get a full metre of whichever one you choose. A really good size piece. Beautiful fabric to work with. And, of course, um, brought to us from Bali. Absolutely fabulous country that manufactures the most amazing batiks and they are um, of the handmade you can see on your screen there you've got hand dyed and hand printed because with these it's a two-part process um, you've got the the actual dyeing of the fabric which will be where you can see kind of the design coming through there so where you can see the wiggly lines where you can kind of see those little flowers that's the first part of the process where the fabric is dyed then the pattern is printed on using hot wax and kind of blocks so wax blocks um, sorry wax is applied to the fabric to kind of create a resist and then you've got a, a second dyeing sometimes bleaching if you are wanting to kind of lighten the fabrics and that is adding that additional color then of course everything is heated up the wax dissipates and then you're left with the most amazing print as you can see here but it's all done by hand 9.99 being the price for your meter of fabric of course it's one item number so you could go for multiples of these if you wanted to quite easily so um, absolutely beautiful fabrics every single one of them so whichever you go for you know that you're buying quality with these so details on your screen in there um, as you can see term two um, I was about to say two and one no uh, two and one 21 key to the door something like that six and eight don't know what that one's a little bit late and seven and four 74 what a good year nine pounds and 99 pence hit the floor I think I've hit the floor in this hour um, so 68 have we got a raise saving grace so there you go two and one 21 key to the door six and eight <laughs> saving grace and seven and four hit the floor nine pounds and 99 pence if you fancy taking advantage of these um, the canvas um, that's been another popular one in this hour with my little ducks my little green ducks which i'll tell you about in a few moments these ones you have got some fabulous fabrics here now these are brilliant because you've got a canvas weight you've got a 60 inch wide piece of fabric so you're getting a lot of fabric for your money here 13 pounds and 99 pence you've got your um is it called airport this one did we say yep yeah, airport um still proven to be one of the most popular ones nice one for um, a blind in a child's bedroom i think that one as well like that one then you've got your foxes like those little sleepy foxes there foxes that are on their travels um then you have got now this aztec one what do you we call in the aztec print one orange aztec oh there you go nice and easy so is what it says on the label then you've got your tropical leaves this is nice because it's kind of got a lot of depth to it that design like that nice bright colors in there so if you wanted to add in a, a solid color you could do quite easily this one again is one of my favorites because you've got your multicolored trees in here of course got some little kind of silhouettes of birds featuring but it's a really nice fabric that one do like that one then you've got your banana leaves with your large leaves as you can see there followed by your green ducks fabulous so uh, if you're wanting these six five eight um, six, eight six five oh dear my brain's turned too much eight eight and six between the sticks five and three fifty three Stuck in a tree. Well, that's a bit apt, isn't it, with the trees? And then we don't have anything for 95. Okay. But what's 59 then? Yourself. You're the way about, no, better not say 59 because it confuses the issues. The Brighton line, but going the other way. It's like your return <laughs> trip on the Brighton line. There you go. <laughs> 13 pounds and 99 pence. 865. 
395 if you wanted to take advantage of that I one. I feel like I've made your life far more difficult this hour. It has. <laughs> than it needed I've to be. i in this hour, that's for certain. My poor brain's frazzled. Um, and now we've got panels for you. We're looking at the cushion panels on this occasion. I say cushion panels, they don't have to be cushion panels. So describe as that on your screen, but I know you at home, you will come up with some fabulous ideas for these. They're square panels, as you can see. So you've got things like your stag. You've also got your rooster and your cockle. You've also got your cows. These are all the different options that you've got within these. You've also got your Highland cow, which is a fairly popular one. Then you've got your sheep, your little sheep there. You've also got your pheasant, if you want a taste of the country. And then you've also got your little robin, who has proved to be very popular during this hour as well. Of course, loads of ways that you could work with these. Just a couple of suggestions. The details on your screen are mentioning them as animal cushions, but they don't have to be cushions. Could be tote bags, quite easy. You could do a little bit of free motion work, as Hayley mentioned earlier on as well. Um, and add some additional detail into these if you so choose. But 14 99 for any two of those, a brilliant value for money. 301296 if you're wanting to take advantage of these, please do so. But of course, you've got a little bit of time left um, with regards to your happy hour deals. Hayley's working with some of them at the moment, so we'll show you those in a few moments. She was doing that uh, disappearing nine patch. It's one of the simplest block, quilt blocks that you can create, but it's very effective. So it's one of the ones that I always suggest to people who are brand new to quilting. So perhaps this is it. Perhaps you've never had a go um, and Hayley has inspired you to have a go with your disappearing nine patch. We well, need um, at least three different fabrics for that to work because you need your nine squares, nine equal squares. So you could take three squares of each of these, mix them up, stitch them together. And then as Hayley showed you, cut your design into quarters and then restitch them in place. $13.99 if you're wanting these, then you can do. You've got your fabulous little floral print, as you can see, with this one but picking out the turquoise and also the pink detail both of those have been echoed through the kind of supportive fabrics that you've got with this little bundle so you've got your turquoise and then you've also got that fabulous hot pink there 226 a 524 if you're wanting to take advantage 13 pounds with those um, and uh, yeah if you want to get hold of these you've got your two little ducks quack quack six and five retirement something or other and two and four a couple of dozen uh, there you go 13 pounds a baker's dozen there you go 13 pounds being your price do pop those into your basket your other happy hour deal is your dinosaurs and these are brilliant love these brush cotton so again you've got two meters with regards to the uh, these i'm looking at this and they do look as if they could well glow in the dark i don't know whether they do or not but it doesn't say it glows in the dark but you know when you hold it up and it kind of looks a bit glowy we can't turn the lights off because i won't see anything then <laughs> well you'll see if it glows in the dark so should we try it i don't know if we can try it i don't know if it'll it's just gonna be black it. isn't it <laughs> no, no. <laughs> there you got your answer though. <laughs> there you go. So it doesn't. That's what you call a live test. No, oh, 37199, dear. £10 for that particular one, and uh, £12 saving, but only for the next 25 minutes. Take advantage of it while you've got the opportunity. Um, Hayley, what are you up to over there? There's my machine. I stitched that one back together, so that was the um, nine patch that Lovely. we cut and then twisted. Really, really simple. Very but effective. Really quite effective little block, and especially with those colours. Nice, I as like well that. they work so well together and that's a lovely little set of kind of three matching colors which are an instant project for you it certainly does and so, there's Hayley's showing you that i mean they're very effective working together yeah i'm Get now just mixing up the two sets between the um docks and the lights okay. and we're going to kind of create a, an art quilting Ooh. piece i've got it halfway through i'm just going to stitch i'm just stitching a a hill on at the minute oh okay we'll be over in a minute we'll have a little look at the house. all right you can together. do some numbers uh, we're going to do some numbers yeah all right you do that are we going to move i don't know if we've got to move cameras or not so well i don't know we can talk about <laughs> the, the I'm not quite sure if we're over there or over here i like at the it moment. when we get to the stage where the people in the gallery are going what's happening <laughs> but are we still here or are we over there <laughs> I've got the happy hour deal. Well, because none of the cameras have moved, so I presumed we were staying here. I don't know. Okay, I'm going to go back to oh, Hayley in a minute. <laughs> <laughs> I just, it's just, it's so bizarre at the moment. It's gone 
want that's gone bonkers because everybody's oh, going, dear, what are we doing? Done. Which Hayley? <laughs> right, we're staying with Hayley Smith now. Okay, done. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm just putting in some hills at the minute and because I'm working on the super stiff batting and that's going to really hold things in place, you can um, uh, put a little bit of kind of spray adhesive on here just to hold them in place while you're stitching the first layer down. But when you do stitch them, I do advise you stitch kind of all the way around the edges of each piece just to hold everything in place and um, I'm stitching that long curve first because what I'll find is once I've stitched that in place if I have got if anything has moved or twisted while I've been stitching then I can pull the excess out either to the side or to the bottom I'm going to come back over this and do it another couple of times, but before I do that, I want to get those uh, bits all attached. You can see that's the first of my hills going on. Now, if you wanted to add extra dimension to these and add extra um, kind of depth to the foreground, what you could do is cut another piece of that super stiff and at this point, just slide it in there so you've got one of the hills coming forward and then your next one, put two layers in so you've got that one coming further forward still. So do you know what? I'm going to do that. We're going to have a bit of a bit of a play, bit of experiment okay. with it. The only thing is, um, with the super stiff, because it's quite thick, um, just bear in mind your machine capabilities to get through. It's not in terms of get through, as in it's difficult for the needle. It's just get through, as in can you get it under the foot if you're putting, you know, two and three layers underneath. So I'm going to cut another layer out, and then I'll stitch around those edges, and then we'll add another, even bigger hill on. With the, are you working with the 100Q? Yes, I've got the 100Q. Has it got the higher lift? Yes, it has. It's got further. the higher lift. So when yeah. you pull the foot up itself, then you uh, you can see I can probably get a second layer underneath there. But there's a at the top of where the lever is. I don't know how I can move this to get it. The top of where the lever is, you can actually push it further up. So you can see I can easily get another couple of layers Perfect. underneath there. Wonderful. There you go. As Hayley works with that, um, she's been working with the the light so far, um, with that gorgeous snowy sky almost. That's um, is this particular fabric that she's chosen, and then the green has come from further down the pile there. But of course, you've got 20 different colours, so you could be building up all sorts, couldn't you? Building up that landscape and really have loads of fun. Um, now, with regards to this one, um, you've got a 30 pound, 35 pound savings, so you could be jumping and jiving with that saving, really, couldn't you? Having the time of your life. Um, you've got 20 half meter pieces with this one which gives you 10 meters for 79 pounds and 90 pence works out at 7.99 a meter absolutely brilliant value for me those are your pastels so that's your first of your two options then of course you've got your darks now with your darks similarly you're going to get a fabulous range of colors and again loads and loads of different ways you could be working with these as well so you could be quilting with these you could be doing applique with these you could be using them as bag linings you're getting a full half meter of each one of these so edge to edge edge um, with the salvage we're not talking about fat quarters here we are talking about half meter pieces so you're looking at 10 meters in total and again some beautiful designs coming right the way through these as you can see the details are on your screen there and um, at 427040 if you're wanting to pop this one into your basket then it is your one day special your darks option but don't forget you can go for both of them if you so choose so you could do quite easily um, of the two which is my preference I'd probably go for the lights I think purely because at the moment that's kind of is where I'm working in at the moment I'm working with light now the lights has proved to be a little bit more popular 30% of the stock but the darks aren't too far behind so but yeah if you are wanting to go for either of them I think perhaps this one the lights maybe it's because it's the season spring summer that's what we're thinking with these but don't forget a quilt could take you months to put together so maybe you're thinking ahead to a, a winter project with the deeks there now if you're working with your um, the fabric it's got quite easy you could be doing a king size quilt topper using what you've got here you've got more than enough there to put these together and um, you could be incorporating some of your fabrics at home if you wanted to and um, for things like your sashing and your binding um, and, but of course with these if you wanted to do your binding then you can do that quite easily you could take one of these cut um, your widths across and then obviously stitch them together to make your binding just make sure that you have got enough binding um, in that format all you needed to do really though if you wanted to, to give it a bit of a different twist is incorporate the other fabrics that work in the same colour so you could actually have like a, a almost like a stripy binding going around your quilt um, nice fun happy quilt I think that would be as well um, so if you're wanting either of your one day specials the details are on your screen there as you can see flexi buy on these which means you could add in those happy ideals as well
Now, of course, our fabulous landscape, I think, is coming together. How are you getting on over there, Hayley Smith? I'm fine, thanks, Hayley West. <laughs> <laughs> Just joining in. What to say in our ears? Just, I know. <laughs> So uh, while you were away, all I did was I cut a second piece of that um, a super stiff batting and just popped it in the bottom there. And now you can kind of, I don't know if you can kind of see if I maybe just wiggle it about a bit. You can see this one's now kind of coming further forward into the foreground. So um, I should have stitched from the top down. I didn't. I was naughty. I stitched from the bottom up and that means I've got a little bit of a crease here. So I will eventually kind of unpick that and, and reseal that back down. But I did just want to show you about putting the next kind of hill in. So we want one coming up here. So I'm going to cut my uh, batting first and then I want it coming roughly off that edge so we'll see if I can get this pretty straight. Now the super stiff, have you got that on the website? Yeah, it'll be on the website. It's one that we have all of the time but it's a great one for making these kind of projects where it's a little bit more kind of constructional. So because um, that I'm going to have end up with three layers at this point here, I've got the choice to either cut that off or just put a second piece underneath just a bit where it's going to overlap so get a second piece um, that will come from it's hard to see I need to just cut it and show you don't I that's going to be a, a lot easier so I need another piece that's going to come and cover this gap here so the bit in between where this ends where this um, forefront piece is going to be and where it comes over there so um, I'm not creating kind of if I just cut two of these I'm going to create three layers okay. actually it's probably easier for me to cut the one that I've got and show you what I'm looking for so I'm looking for that gap to be filled first and then another complete piece all the way over the top okay. so I haven't got holes or kind of four layers because four layers you're definitely going to struggle with getting through your machine okay. so that's why I'm cutting that extra piece so that when I put that piece over the top obviously correct size but that piece over the top it's nice and flat to sew on oh, so I see. I'm going to go ahead cut that last piece cut a piece of fabric to go over the top of it Wonderful. and then we'll stitch that on as well lovely and this is a project that we're going to see kind of evolve over the, the yes whole it's going to evolve wonderful. over the next uh, kind of couple of shows lovely Look we'll to eventually get it finished by the end i reckon wonderful i love it now time is ticking away um we've not got a huge amount of time left on the hour so not sure how much further we're going to get with the project with hayley but do make sure you tune back in bright and early tomorrow morning eight o'clock because of course that will be our first live hour so uh, of course uh, the one day special launch at six o'clock if you miss the show then you can go back and watch on rewind in fact rewind is on our web website which is where you'll find all the fabulous goodies that we have been chatting about during this hour it's also where you'll find the happy hour deals and you can see with our happy hour deals for this hour we've got five star reviews with regards to one of the most popular items there as you can see you've got your two polka dot fabrics alongside that beautiful kind of patchwork flower that's appearing with that really nice fabric um, you've also got a second happy hour deal with your dinosaurs there and your dinosaurs are coming on your brushed cotton so uh, yeah they're both on there and uh, you'll see all the different happy hours as they become um, available during the different shows but this is a very popular happy hour deal you've got your um, meter of each of these fabrics so there's a good size piece with each one of them and you've got three fabrics here so you've got the one with the flowers on there and I think this is just like a little marriage made in heaven isn't it because you've got your turquoise and your pink with your florals on your fabric as you can see there then you've got your polka dots which work beautifully because, of course, you've got that gorgeous turquoise there. Your next one is your pink and a another happy fabric. These two fabrics, just I love these. saw these before and they just thought they're amazing. So you are getting three metres for £13. That is amazing value for money. Looking at about, what, £4.33, something like that, um, per metre of those. So that is phenomenal price for um, quilting cotton. As I say, you're probably looking around ten would be in the Hachanda price, really, for a metre of fabric. Then we've got your a fabulous um the other happy hour that we've got is your, dra um, your, no, your dragons they're not dragons they're dinosaurs they're dinosaurs um and uh, yeah 10 pounds for this one nine three seven or one nine nine two meters 44 inches wide kim emailed in earlier on she was asking about uses with regard to this one we've mentioned adult sleepwear but um, another thing is a cushion so you could be making a cushion or a quillo maybe with that nice little quillo something to snuggle up oh everybody's gone oh yes 
two meters would be plenty for doing one of those so there you go uh, but 937-199 really nice nice fabric now another popular item during this hour has been the fabulous little iron and this is brilliant as Hayley mentioned in the last hour I mean it's brilliant because it's not a steam iron so you can see that you haven't got any holes there which means your coverage of heat goes right the way over there which of course is important if oops <laughs> wobble um, important if you are working with things like heat transferable vinyls because of course having those little cool spots in there could make it a little bit tricky if you're wanting to um, work with those but perfect for your quilting the lovely thing is it will fold down and it's really compact because when you press the button on there the handle folds flat like so and as Hayley said when you bring the cable forward to actually kind of roll up the cable then it's not actually going to put any stress on that point and that is the point where most irons do find that the, their weakness in fact I have got a little um, iron that I'm using and it has gone at that point so love that idea where it's supporting that when you are um, packing it away also got your traditional dial on there so for all your heat settings you're just rotating that as you go um, and uh, of course when it comes to needing it then you just click that handle up it locks in place so it's nice and sturdy it's only when you press that button that it will actually fold back down again so uh, yeah nice little eye on that one and a good coverage and of course it's a fabulous kind of tip that it's going to get into all the nitty-gritty of your seams now 19.99 is a brilliant price for it but you know what as a freedom member you have got an even better price with this one but it's a 40 percent saving wow that is amazing that you're saving life begins at life begins at 40 you've got a like, good size cable with this one as well really really quickly heats up quickly cool yeah really really They're quickly cool, but yeah so it's it's really handy for just one that you want kind of by the side for doing little jobs so you can just knock it on and off yeah and it heat it heats up really really quickly yeah, but that's good to know isn't it so uh, i mean you could even use that almost as like a little travel iron down in your caravan or something like that couldn't you if you wanted to um 417259 if you want to take advantage of these 19 pounds and 99 pence being your price with regards to that one so yeah 1199 being your freedom members discounted price so 40 percent savings it's not often we give you the opportunity to save 40 pounds um it comes all beautifully boxed as well so if you do want to take advantage and give it as a gift to somebody then you can do it. Nice, easy ones. I do like a, gri a gift in a box, which means you can wrap it up, makes it nice and easy, doesn't it there? 417259. Hand it back over to the lovely Hayley Smith. How are you getting on with your landscaping? Uh, I'm, I'm all right, <laughs> doing a bit of landscaping. So we're going to build this up gradually, and the first thing we're doing is just putting the backgrounds in. So um, I've used a couple from the, uh, was it Lights bundle? Lights, yeah. What's the numbers in that? Uh, oh, gosh. 42, which is four what? Two, Winnie the Pooh, 70, Blind 70. We haven't got one for that. Okay. And then life begins at 40. <laughs> okay, so um, <laughs> we've. <laughs> I just wanted to see if you'd remembered. We've got uh, so one. we start We've got one. building seven zero superheroes. That'll do. I like it. I think if we can't find them, we should totally just make them up. Exactly. <laughs> so I've built up the background, and as I'm putting the layers on, I'm just kind of stitching them around the edge. Now you can use a bit of uh, spray adhesive just to hold these on temporarily. Um, and when you are stitching them on, I'll take these bits out so you can see what we've done. So I stitched this one on, and then I decided after I'd stitched it on that we were going to kind of add multiple layers and almost do decoupage quilting so um, I cut another piece of the um, super stiff and put that on the top and then um, just stitched down the side just to hold everything in place and then we were going to put a third layer on now obviously the three layers it will depend on your machine whether you can get through all of that and then we needed a piece almost like a jigsaw to um, make sure that it brought it up to that second level where we've already got the um, this green layer on and then a third piece to go on the top and because we've cut that piece to go in the gap then that's all now solid and easy to stitch on the same level and then a piece of fabric to go over the top of that and then we're going to just stitch that all in place now what I would do with this, I've actually cut the fabric a little bit bigger and there's a reason for that because the fabric will, um, you'll get a much more rounded, better effect from it by placing um, the, the fabric down first and stitching that in place. Now I've got a fairly rough cut on there but I can always go back in and trim it off with scissors. So I'm just going to, um, I wish I had my pins, I left them in the car. Um, I'm just going to take those out of the way for now and then just stitch that into place and then we'll put those bits of wadding back in we're creating a big old landscape here 
it's t it's too big for the machine. <laughs> There we go. So I'm staying quite far in from the edge. I'm leaving myself a good seam allowance so I can come back and I can trim those edges off once I've, uh, I'm happy with the position and I'm happy with it stitched in place. And once this is all attached, you can then come back in with some of your decorative stitches and some of your kind of uh, free motion work and really start going to, to town on it and developing. What kind of things do you think we should put in our scene, Hayley? Because we've got Ooh. a countryside now. Well, I was going to say sheep, but I'm not sure if we've got sheep fabric in with the one day. So if you've got something a little lighter I can, I can make it work. You're going to make a sheep. <laughs> you might be a sheep with a, a, a pattern shirt on then. <laughs> See, <laughs> I could, we can make sheep. Of course we can make sheep. That would just look bored, would it? You um, <laughs> Now, of course, Hayley's working with the One Day Special, the details of which are on the screen. Um, she's going to be back with us live tomorrow morning at 8 o'clock, so make sure you do tune in and you'll see this fabulous scene evolving over all the shows. But, of course, key thing is that you get hold of your One Day Special while you've got the opportunity, because tomorrow it's going to go up in price at 6 o'clock. We don't want anybody missing out. You're getting a full 10 metres of fabric. This one is the lights. This is one that Hayley's been working with uh, with regards to the sky and the green field that she's got within her project. Uh, and then the darker option is the one that she's just been adding an additional bit of fabric to to add even more to the landscape not too sure which one she's going to use with regards to the sheep but you'll have to tune in to find out now it's coming together a treat that looks fabulous i'll work the sheep out so <laughs> so you've got one layer of wadding on the background there and then you've got two for that first hill and then you've got three on this second one here and all I've done is stitch that on, you saw me stitch that on, and then I've taken those two pieces, and they don't need to be kind of exact fits, because you, you kind of want to leave a little bit, I might even trim this one down, because you can see there, I don't know if I can show you that there, you've got quite oh, a harsh bump, line, if I yeah. just trim that down a bit, I'll get a much smoother line um, of my hill. And don't forget, if you do want to go for any of the super stiff stabilise or um, wadding, should I say, that um, Hayley's been working with, you can find it on the website. Even though we haven't got it on the show, you could still add it in alongside your one-day special. Spread the cost of that as well, so it's quite easy for you to do so. Same thing happens with regards to your happy hour deals. You've got five minutes left for you to take advantage of those. Lots of you have got them in your basket, so make sure you're checking your baskets out. Because if you try to check your basket out after nine o'clock, the price will have gone up. And I know some people did try to check out their baskets after um, seven o'clock when we had a happy hour deal before. So make sure you do it while you have the opportunity. So we've got a fabulous hour coming up and nighttime hours with introducing doodle craft designs. Then we're back with a repeat of this hour if you want to watch it all again. And then you've got happy ruse designs. I will see you tomorrow. Well, welcome back to all of our lovely viewers from the US of A. It is great to have your company again. Sadly, we weren't able to ship out to you because, of course, there is the coronavirus situation at the moment. Now, really great news. We're managing now to be able to ship back out to you again. However, it is working out to be quite costly because of things changing for us. And the price now is actually $12.95 per item. But... Do not despair because there's a great way around this. If you become a part of our Freedom Members Club, which is $19.99, that is the one payment that you pay for the month. And what that gives you is your packaging and your posting, your shipping basically on the items that you buy. So instead of buying one item for $12.95, use that $19.99 and get your items sent to you. It's the best way to shop. But it's great to have you back. We're so glad that we're able to ship to you over there in the US of A. Hello, my name's Catherine Sturrock and I bring to a chander my company Character Crafts. Character Crafts brings to you our laser cut designs. Each design is designed by myself. We cut them on the laser machines here in Doncaster and bring the products to you at home. Character Crafts is suitable for all ages and all abilities. So I hope that I can inspire you and help you along with your crafting. I like 
like to show you how to use different paint techniques and different techniques to bring the characters alive and use various mediums to decorate um, and I also use air dry clay for decorating with the flowers. So make sure you look out for the character craft shows on Achanda. I hope to see you soon. Hi, I'm Ali from Ali Stitch Your Fingers and I'm here to talk to you about the Stitched Up Ruler System. The Stitched Up Ruler System was uh, born in America and I saw how um, unique it was and wanted to bring it to the viewers on a chanda. So what we've done is we've been designing these rulers and they are specific depth to work with the specific foot that you need but this enables you to be able to use this on a domestic sewing machine at home. We now design and manufacture the rulers and the feet here in Yorkshire. We've got lots of new designs and uh, new shapes coming to you and we can't wait to bring them to you at home. So make sure you don't miss the Stitched Up Ruler System with me on a Chanda. Hello, my name's Stuart and I'm the Managing Director of Oakwood Archer. Oakwood Archer is a family run business and my son and my daughter work very hard with me to bring the best craft items to you in the UK. We specialise in high quality items brought into the UK from all over the world, including brands like Kaiser Craft, Stampendous and Impression Obsession. Working with the Chanda is fantastic for us. It gives us the opportunity to bring all of these brands and all of these products from all over the world direct to you, the crafter in the UK. Our products include stamps, dies, papers, buttons, trimmings, ribbons and album making kits. Just about everything you need to be a good crafter. So please don't miss Oakwood Archer Shows on a Chanda. Hello there and welcome back. Well, new supplier alert. We have got a fabulous brand new cut to us here. Um, Doodle Craft Design. And we're talking cross stitch in this. Island, and I love a little bit of cross stitch. And these are such clever designs because they have a practical use once you've stitched them out as well. Looking at lots of game boards here. Things like snakes and ladders, Ludo, backgammon, chess. All of those traditional games all stitched out on your Aida. And to create something that is going to be a piece of art that you're going to be passing on through the generation generations but at the same time you could actually use it and play with it um, and it's a really clever idea now we've got details of the first kit on the screen there because some very affordable prices so if you do want to jump ahead and have a little look especially if you're looking at the chessboard ones because they've been popular before we even came live with the app uh, um, and we are going to be having a little chat with the, the, the company themselves we'll have them on the phone lines a little bit later on and learn a little bit about them because they're based right in the middle um, of Scotland and we've got Debbie um, and obviously her husband they both of them will be hearing from the got videos coming up from them a little bit later on but what they've done is they've put together some fabulous kits for you first of all first and foremost you've got your base you've got your Aida that's 18 counter Aida so if you are familiar with your cross stitch you're looking at 18 holes per inch so very easy for you to actually stitch with these but when you start laying down those stitches it all comes together can I show you this this is beautiful the colors that you've got here what a clever idea now you've got your Aida obviously the right size to house all those little boxes that you are going to be able to stitch and of course you've got your snakes and your ladders your ladders going up and your snakes coming back down again loads and loads of different fabric and um, threads within here as well they're DMC quality threads so you know they're quality to start with they're already carded so you don't have to separate those up they're ready to go um, and you are creating something that is going to be absolutely incredible oh sorry we'll start away very very quickly there you've got your 
full, <laughs> full instructions as you can see there. So you've got detailed design that's going to help you. But of course, you have got full instructions within here. So if you've never stitched before, very quickly and easily, you are going to be able to create your design using your little crosses in there. You've got a layer. And this is the thing that I love about this. You don't need to be kind of squinting. Look at the size of your chart. It comes over several pages, as you can see, A3 pages, but it makes it so easy for you to stitch out. Now, of course, within your kit, you've got all the elements for you to create your first snakes and ladder um, project because I know once you've completed that lots of people will be asking you to do more of these and you'll potentially be doing them to give as gifts to people so of course you have got that there full color as well that's a key thing as well so you don't haven't got a kind of cross reference find a little um, square or a circle or a diamond and then actually find what that depicts because the colors themselves are there so where there's a red dot you've got a little red square and so on and then you've got obviously your squares that you're going to be completing some of these you've just kind of got your your stitches your stitches that um, a single thread so things like your, your your crosses that you can see here around number 79 there those are just literally stitched on top of your aida so you don't actually have to stitch underneath there it's almost like a top stitch going in place but we'll learn more about that as the hour progresses now something i'm going to mention as well i'm not sure what the the ins and outs of this are but we think and we're going to get this clarified in a few moments that you are going to get a little piece of um, cross stitch as a kit in with your orders as well so uh, you've got your little chart alongside so it's just the chart sorry with this so you're just going to get the chart but we do have coaster kits that you could jump onto the website and get hold of so uh, there you go 39 pounds and 99 pence being the kit price for your snakes and ladders and i 